All right, welcome back. We are looking at Jasmine Coin on the four hour time frame. And right now, what can we see? So we did actually end up going a bit lower than where we had marked, but that overall looks fine. Now, why is that this actually what is playing out right here potentially is a continuation pattern. So it would essentially look like this. And we'd continue pushing higher from that point on. The only thing that necessarily that we need to take note of is this one candle. This is indubitably a bearish candle that we had going on over here. Uh, it completely like engulfed the prior candle towards the upside. And then we had wicks both ways. It ultimately kind of looks like indecision. Now going into a smaller time frame, such as the 45 minute time frame, you can get a better idea of the actual structure of Jasmine in the most immediate term. And you can see right here, we actually did end up breaking that low ever so slightly, not super cash money. So if we were to go purely off that and um, say like, okay, what did the market structure do? The market structure gave us a break right here. You broke market structure. Thus, we could anticipate a lower high. On top of that, what could we also anticipate here is that you had bearishness come in. Clear bearishness. It just sold straight down, like we were just talking about on that higher time frame. However, like I was saying, this is potentially one of those continuation structures in which we were talking about where you end up going like that. So basically what that would come down to is that this current push up right here is where you want to see this end up uh, pretty much just blasting through and clearly taking out that 13 or not 13, 36, 60 high that we set right back on over there. Um, now, if you are unable to do that, then you could either anticipate more of sideways movement over here in this larger range or that you're going to get a little bit of a bigger correction before you end up potentially moving back on up. Now, that being said, I do want to zoom back on out here. We can get rid of this. Paying attention to the overall larger area. Are you in the danger zone? Potentially, yeah, you are in a danger zone right now. So you really do want to take out that high like we were just talking about. Uh, upon doing so, even getting back past that 39 would be phenomenal because we even marked that as well. Well, we marked 37, not 39. 39 is the actual high, but if you were to get hit anywhere, that 37 area is where you probably get hit at. <coughs> that being said, overall downtrend for like this wedge right here, we are currently still holding above it, which is a good sign. So if you want to pair a couple of these things together, one, you had these pushes over here. We didn't, it was like negligible that we went that much lower, but ultimately holding this low that we set back in December of 2022. So you also have this wedge over here that is potentially getting ready to play out. You currently are above that downtrend and you even have a continuation pattern right here. So we're getting a couple of different levels of confluence for both sides, but I would be leaning a little bit more towards that. We do actually end up breaking back towards the upside here. So it could take some time, but it also doesn't mean that we're going to go like straight up. Could you end up coming back on down? Yeah, you could end up coming back on down. Like literally, I would look be looking for no lower. I'm going to make this point. Uh, yeah, just like that. And we're going to make that uh, pink. Pink line, no break, pink line. Pink line is at two zeros, 31, 18. Or 31, 13, my apologies. Um, other than that, that's really about it. I don't have too much else to say. I'm more inclined to think that we are going to be moving towards the upside, at least for the time being. I would like to see some break of uh, structures here. So pretty much breaking past these prior areas or like even that area, then breaking past that high and then breaking high, blah, 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 blah. But um, other than that, none of this is financial advice. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, you guys have a phenomenal day. Adios, muchachos.